guys and welcome back to another Tech Relay video. Today's video I'm going to show you how to simply write an image to a micro SD card so you can use it in your Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we're going to want to do is pull up an internet browser, head over to Google and search for Win32 Disk Imager. We're going to select the first option, SourceForge.net. We're going to know we're in the right place because we'll see Win32 Disk Imager and we'll see SourceForge.net and you'll click the green download button to get the download started. This is going to take a few seconds. All right, now we're going to save the file. And that'll usually go in your default downloads location. Once that's completed, you're going to click to launch the Win32 Disk Imager executable. That's going to start the installation process. All right, we can go ahead and click Finish here. All right, so that completes the installation process, but we will need an image, so I'm going to head over to Google, and I'm going to search for Raspbian. You can use any image you choose. I'm just going to use this for my example, so I'll go ahead and search Raspbian, and choose the first search result for Download Raspbian. And then we're going to click the Download Zip for Raspbian Lite. All right, we're going to choose to save the file. Click OK. All right, now this is going to take some time to download. Now, once the download has completed, you're going to locate your image. We're going to have to right click on it and extract the image. And this will take a few moments as well. Once that is completed, we're going to go ahead and open Win32 Disk Imager. All right, now once the Disk Imager is pulled up, Next to the blue folder, you're going to want to make sure that that is your SD card that is selected. And then we will want to click the blue folder icon, go into our downloads folder where I have my Raspbian image. We'll go ahead and select that. We'll click open and then we can go ahead and click right. It's going to ask us if we want to continue. Click yes. All right, so this process will take some time to complete. So we'll go ahead and let the image write to the SD card. Once it's done, you're going to see a box pop up. It'll say it's successful. You'll click OK. And then you can go ahead and safely eject your SD card. So that's how it's done. Anyways, hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.